Hello boys and girls. Today we are going to read the fable, The Farmer and His Son. So Monday and Tuesday we worked on fables and we learned a few things about them. Okay, what genre is fables? Yes, fables are fiction and we know that because most of the time fables involve animals and those animals are doing things that animals normally wouldn't do. Right? What are some things those animals are doing? That's right, they're talking and um, they're just, they're acting like humans. And in one story, it was actually the wind and the sun that were acting like humans. And we had a special literary term for that. Do you remember? It was called personification. So remember, personification is when something that is not human is having, is doing things that a human would do, has human characteristics, okay? Now, Today's fable is called The Farmer and His Sons. So it sounds to me, just by listening to the title, that we are going to have people as the characters of our story today. Another thing that we know is that fables always have a moral, and a moral means a lesson. So as we're reading today, I want you to listen for what you think is the moral of the story. All right, I'm going to ask you to click on your Google Classroom and bring up your copy. Or if you have a packet, you can get your packet. <clears throat> and you can open up your packet and you can find the farmer and his sons. Right? And let's read along together. Now, there's a word that we're going to encounter as we're reading today, and that is the word Quarrel. Let's make sure we know what that word means. So great vocabulary word. So does anyone know? Let's read and see if we can figure out the meaning of the word quarrel. The farmer and his sons. As a weary old farmer worked with his three sons to cut wood for the winter, the boys began to quarrel among themselves. Each of them claimed to be the strongest. The father pleaded with them to stop their foolish arguing and to work together, but his words were of no use. Soon, an idea came to him. He bundled ten thin sticks of kindling and tied them together with a sturdy vine. Next, he called upon his sons to prove their strength. My sons, the one who can most quickly snap these thin strips of kindling will prove himself to be the strongest member of the group. Each son, in turn, held the bundle and tried to snap it into pieces. Each time the bundle held strong. After each of the boys had their turn, the father untied the vine and snapped the twigs easily in his hands. After his sons watched their father snap the twigs, the father asked what they had learned. Sheepishly, the boys replied, if we stand together, we are strong, but divided, we become weak. So the moral of our story is that there is strength in unity. Let me plug in my computer right quick. Low battery signal. There we go. We don't want to lose each other. All right, boys and girls. So let's go back up to my very first question. So we have some great vocabulary words in our fable. And our first vocabulary word was quarrel. Now, there were some clues that would help us figure out what that word means if it's one that we do not know. It says that the boys began to quarrel and the father pleaded with them to stop their foolish arguing. So when you're quarreling, you are Arguing, that is another way, another word or a synonym, a word that means the same as another word. Quarrel is a synonym for arguing. All right, another word was kindling. If you didn't know what kindling was, there's clues in the story that can help you understand the meaning of that word as well. Let's go back and look. It says he bundled 10 thin sticks of kindling. So it tells us right there, what is kindling? Yes, kindling is just thin sticks. That's what kindling is. Now, this weekend, I went and picked up sticks in my yard. And there were several I picked up that weren't very big. And I went like this, boop, and I just broke them. But if I had put a whole bunch of those sticks together, would I have been able to break them? No. 
because one by itself is weak. I can pop it just like that. But when you put a whole bunch together, suddenly it's strong and it can't be broken. That's the lesson that the farmer wanted his sons to understand. When they quarrel, when they argue, they're each standing alone. But when they work together, they're strong. Do you think the boys learned their lesson? I do. Look at here at this word, sheepishly. The boys knew that they were wrong and their father was right. How do you think they felt? They felt embarrassed, didn't they? And so that's another word. They, they knew they had done wrong. They were embarrassed. I bet they even hung their head down a little like this because they were ashamed. But they learned a valuable lesson that day. Now, boys and girls, after you finish reading, I want you to go click on the Google form and you're going to answer some questions for me about our fable. All right? Join me tomorrow as we read our final fable for this week.